everyone. Good morning. Welcome to our latest chamber chat with Mr. Blair Schlechter, our Vice President of Economic Development and Government Affairs. I'm Alexandria Anderson, the Director of Marketing and Events for the Chamber, and we're here this morning to tell you a little bit about the New York Mission Trip, which is our business attraction and retention trip. Um, kind of a confusing title of trip. Let's tell us a little bit more about that trip, Blair, and maybe a little bit about the background of it. What is it exactly? Why was it established? Yeah, so just to set, give you a little background, um, we do a lot of work on contract with the city to support for businesses, to attract new businesses to Beverly Hills. One of the ways we do so is we've taken a trip for the past 20 odd years uh, to New York. Um, with two purposes. Really, the first part is to engage with the corporate offices of existing businesses here, keep up relationships, find out what's going on, how we can partner together. And the other part is business attraction, uh, bringing different businesses here who can add to our scene, um, add to our economy, um, add to what we have to offer uh, to the business person, resident, and tourist. Okay, wow. So you said it's really been going on for about 20 years? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Probably, even, probably even longer. I think I have, I have to find the exact <laughs> yeah, date, but exact it's been days. going on for a long time. Wow, over 20 years. That, that's incredible. And so it's really to attract and maintain the businesses that we have, but then attract, like you said, some maybe new and unique businesses to fill some of those niches. Um, so. Um, who attends this trip on the annual basis, typically? So, yeah, so typically it's um, myself and uh, our CEO, Todd Johnson, from the Beverly Hills Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Uh, we have two uh, senior city staffers from the city of Beverly Hills, including the city manager, and the mayor and vice mayor for the city of Beverly Hills. So we have a group of that, and oftentimes we're also accompanied by the uh, Conference and Visitors Bureau. Okay, perfect. So how big is that delegation then? Typically about 10, you would say? Yeah, it varies from about six to 10 or so. Six to 10 folks? Yeah. Um, awesome. And so what kind of businesses do you target on this on this trip since it's been going on for 20 plus years? Yeah, it's a pretty wide range. So um, it can really include anything. Uh, typically it's been focused on you know, the restaurant, retail sector, um, also experiences that we don't necessarily have in Beverly Hills okay. that we like to add to the kind of the experiences you can have here in town. Okay, perfect. So um, restaurants you said, let, let's see. Okay, I, I'm really excited to hear a little bit more about some of the 2019 yeah. uh, businesses that you checked out. Um, so give us an idea about how these meetings are structured. So what kind of questions do you ask these business people when you meet with them? Um, what is provided to them when you meet with them? Because you go all the way from Beverly Hills all the way to New York. Yeah. Um, how are those conversations, like how do the conversations typically go? Yeah, so really it's about building a relationship. Um, so. I guess there's the two different types of meetings. For the business retention meetings, really we're there to meet with kind of the CEOs or the top officials from major corporate offices. Think about Rodeo Drive, the Gucci's, uh, Louis Vuitton's of the world. Okay. Um, finding out what's going on, what's going on with their business, how are things going in Beverly Hills, um, how's their lease going, uh, if they own the building, what's going on, what are they thinking of doing next, okay. uh, what are ways we can partner together. The city has a um, program called Bold that's designed to encourage yep. Uh, traffic in the Golden Triangle and on Rodeo mm -hmm. Drive. Yep. What's their participation in that? Okay. On the business attraction side, it's really about getting to know them. What's their business? Um, what are they thinking about? Have they thought about expanding out okay. west? Um, what can we do to help? Um, what can we do to coordinate their efforts and, and encourage them and tell them about, a little about Beverly Hills? Okay, perfect. And yeah. then how long are the meetings usually? They're about an hour. About and an so, hour. yeah. Your usual business kind of meeting? Okay. Yeah. And so we have about. Um, but usually about 24, 25 meetings okay. um, over a course of three days. All right. And so it's it's a, it's a pretty hectic schedule. Yeah, I'm sure. Hustle yeah. and bustle in New York, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. It's <laughs> jam-packed, so right? it's a lot of fun. What were the dates this year that you went? Uh, so we went the week of September 23rd. So okay. we met with businesses over a course of three days. Okay. And how many did you business. visit this year? Uh, 25. Okay, 25. Wow, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Um, so you told us a little bit about how the meetings are structured, what kind of questions were asked. Is there anything that we provide those businesses when we go and visit them? Yeah, we provide a lot of economic data about what's going on in Beverly Hills. Basically, it's a uh, packet called Leave Behind Folder. Okay. It calls them Why Beverly Hills and, okay. and important stats about the city and real estate going on here. Okay, great. Yeah. And then is that something that we put together ahead of time, of course, in collaboration? with the city so it's kind of information from us from the from the city from sometimes the CDB exactly okay. it's a combination of stuff okay perfect yeah um, so what do we provide to a business who's interested in expanding to Beverly Hills or what typically happens when someone is ready to expand or really set up shop here in the community yeah so it's a good question and a lot of businesses don't really know about that we really provide kind of a wide range of services soup to nuts so helping people come out here, understand what kind of the real estate climate's like, okay. uh, real estate listings, um, a tour of town uh, when they come out, 
Um, and then if they're in, actually moving here, um, get having helping them navigate the process to open up. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And have you had um, any businesses open up shop here that you've visited in um, New York in the past? Have we have any success stories, I guess, that you can share with us? Yeah, we're proud to say we have. I mean, we've had several businesses. Uh, we met with um, the company um, Avra. Um, okay. A couple years oh, ago, wow. uh, it was based in New York, uh -huh. um, part of the Tau Group, and they actually have opened up here in Beverly Hills and done really well Great. on North Beverly. Uh, La Colombe Coffee is another company we met with in the past. Okay. Uh, they opened up um, a few years ago. Great. Uh, Berlucci Shoes is another one. So okay. those and others um, have come out here, and so we're excited about that. Very exciting. Uh, and so for this year, are there any um, potential businesses that you think might expand out here? Or since the trip, since you said it was the week of September 23rd, um, have there been any, um, has, has anything progressed since the trip with some of the businesses that you visited? Yeah, we've actually gotten a really high level of interest this year. We've already had, um, we just went about three weeks ago, we've already mm -hmm. had a business visit us. Another one's planning on visiting later this week. Um, wow. We have more okay. in the pipeline, so um, we're really excited about that and we really got I'd say probably amongst the trips we've had uh, an unprecedented level of interest in Beverly Hills, which is always exciting to hear. The pretty um, pretty good success rate so far, so yeah, that's exciting. Um, are there any other trips or missions of this sort that the chamber spearheads throughout the year or that we've done in the past that kind of compare to this um, business retention and attraction trip? Yeah, last year we started a uh, business attraction trip to San Francisco as we kind of saw an opportunity for companies, especially with those coming from Asia and San Francisco being such a um, Center of Economic Development and mm -hmm. restaurants and retailers. So we started a one-day trip there and that was kind of the same same type of companies that we met with in New York. Okay. And obviously it's a little closer, so uh, they, uh, the, 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 the expansion is a little uh, easier on yeah. them as well. So, Absolutely, yeah. and being in California, I think that they can probably relate to a lot of other things as well. Exactly, and yeah. it's a common uh, logical step for businesses that got started in San Francisco to then to expand down here, and our job is to really tell them why would you want, why Beverly Hills in particular? Absolutely, and did that structure of the people who attended from our delegation, was that similar? So did the mayor come to that one as well, or the vice mayor? Yeah, exactly, okay. all these trips, uh, we have the mayor and the vice mayor and our senior city staff. So we, the great thing is we have all the decision makers and we're, all, mm -hmm. we're meeting with the owners on the other side. So great. we're really kind of uh, talking at high levels with all of these companies. Great, what were kind of some of the businesses that you visited in um, San Francisco? Some of the sectors or some of the industries? Yeah, it's been restaurants and retailers. So similar? company called China Live which is okay. a great uh, Chinese restaurant in Emporium mm -hmm. they have amazing space in Chinatown in San Francisco um, we met with William, the corporate office of William Sonoma which okay. is based wow. down here yeah. so uh -huh. um, it was a great trip and yeah. we're looking forward to continuing it next year very exciting yeah. um, so you mentioned a couple of the teasers that we what yeah. that we visited in 2019 what were some of the other businesses that we visited on our 2019 New York business uh, New York mission trip yeah on the business retention side we met with Gucci Ralph okay. Lauren mm -hmm. uh, David Yerman a lot of the businesses on Rodeo Drive to find out how they're doing uh, what we can do to help um, on the business attraction side, we met with a really wide range of businesses. Uh, we met with a place called Arctic House, which is a digital uh, uh, media experience, okay. beautiful place, yeah. really exciting concept. I met with a wide range of restaurants and retailers, okay. including one called Coat Steakhouse, okay. a luxury retailer, uh, Gabriella Hurst, okay. and so really the wide range of businesses. And the, with the idea of bringing something uh, unique and different that we don't have here in Beverly Hills and continuing to kind of stay on the leading edge of what's going on in terms of development and kind of staying fresh. Absolutely, staying fresh, but then also keeping that, you know, Beverly Hills luxury um, leader kind of role. I can I can see that trend with a lot of the places that you're visiting. Exactly. Um, so that's very exciting. Are there any other highlights that you'd like to share with, with the group on um, this attraction and retention trip? You know, we had some really great meetings with um, some of the corporate offices, um, you know, uh, LVMH is a major uh, participant in what's going on here in Beverly Hills, and they've had a growing, ex a growing uh, expansion here. Um, so we really talked to them about their future interests, and it was great to hear that a lot of those corporate offices are really invested in Beverly Hills. Yeah. They want to stay here. They see the value. They see the, f the future being bright here. Mm -hmm. On the attraction side, I think um, we continue to have a really strong name, and I think this trip kind of puts Beverly Hills at the forefront of their kind of imagination and yeah. their thought process. Very important. And it kind of gives us an advantage in terms of uh, bringing the companies here with that personal touch and really building a relationship that um, you know may take six months, a year, two years. But um, this is kind of the start of that process of bringing them here. Exactly, and definitely seeing that trend as we do in all things chamber. It's really about building those relationships, yep. making those connections, and then really massaging those relationships on that ongoing basis um, to make sure that 
you know, we can be the best chamber and community for our businesses and overall um, grow the economic pie. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so a list of all the different places that they visited on the 2019 New York trip is on our blog, which we will post momentarily in the comments below. Um, if you have any questions about the New York um, business attraction and retention trip, definitely drop it in the comments or shoot Blair or I an email and we'll be sure to address those. Um, and now we would not be doing our due diligence without highlighting some of our upcoming events that we have with the chamber. Um, so today, October 23rd, we do have a business needs to know Google for small businesses sprucing up your holiday marketing plan. That's um, this evening in this room, the chamber boardroom at five o'clock. So definitely be sure to sign up for that if you're looking up to spruce up your holiday marketing, marketing plans. Um, tomorrow evening is Fall Fest, a night with the stars. That's going on at Pierce Brothers Westwood Village Memorial Park at 5.30. Will you be attending that one, Blair? Do we hope I to will. see you? I excellent, will. <laughs> excellent. You can see Blair live in the flesh there. Um, so that is our evening mixer at um, Pierce Brothers Westwood Village Memorial Park tomorrow, again, the 24th, Fall Fest, Night with the Stars. Um, and then next week, we actually have Flair, our, um, our Fall Flair networking event at Ocean Prime, Beverly Hills. That's from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, we have our Get to Know Your City open house. That's happening at Beverly Hills City Hall at 8.30 on, on October 30th. Um, the Get to Know Your City open house. I know that you have a, um, a pretty big involvement with that. Tell us what we can expect at that. Yeah, it's really an opportunity for the entire business community to come and meet uh, the kind of the key city departments that impact mm -hmm. your business. You don't have to be based in Beverly Hills um, to really learn about how to do business here. Um, we're gonna have presentations on emergency management and navigating the permitting process. Mm -hmm. There'll be raffle prizes and.